Hello, this is Miss Gonzalez, and I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Today, we are going to be reading this story about problem solving. Raise your hand if you have ever had a problem with somebody, maybe a friend at school or your brother and sister, and you don't know what to do. But we can't use our hand or our feet or our words to say something mean, right? We have to be smart and think about how can I talk to that person and solve the problem and also be kind. But I know you and I can do that and we are going to learn how in this story. Are you ready? I am. This book is called Talk and Work It Out by Cherry J. Miners. Here we go. I'm learning to get along with lots of people. He's making new friends at school. Sometimes I don't agree with a person. It's okay to have different ideas. See, he wants to play with this game and his brother wants to play with this game. So they have to problem solve. But if something really bothers me, I can choose to work things out. So look, they have a problem. They both want to play with that ball. What are they going to do? How are they going to solve that problem? Let's see. I can stop and take a deep breath. So stop. Let's take a deep breath. And calm myself down. I can take time to think about, hmm, think about how can I solve that problem? See, he's thinking in his head, what should I do? I may want to talk about the problem. I can look at the person and speak up when I tell them how I feel. He's going to talk to this girl who wanted to take the ball away from him. Talk it out. Talk about the problem. So he's going to talk to her. Listen to understand. Think of ways to solve it and choose the best plan. I can listen and think about how the other person feels. I learn more about the problem when I listen to another view. So they're talking to each other. I can say back what I hear. This shows that I understand and that I care. He cares about his friend, so he's talking to her and he's being kind. As we talk about the problem, I can be polite and friendly. It feels good to be heard and to understand things better. I can use my imagination to help solve the problem. See, he's using his imagination. Hmm, what could I do? Oh, look. He says I can play with her basketball. We can play together or we can take turns. And I could say, yes, you can share the ball first. You can use it first. I'll share it with you. That's a good idea, isn't it? Let's give him a thumbs up. And I can ask the person to help find an answer. Hey, he's asking her, what do you think? Should we trade? Should we use the ball together? Or should we take turns? If I still need help, I can ask a grown-up. So if they need help, they can go ask a grown-up, can you help me? I have a problem. I can think about each idea. Hmm, what might happen? Will we both be happy if we take turns with the ball? I can help choose a plan that's good for both of us. I can cooperate to make things work. I might share or take turns or do something nice. Hey, let's go play with the ball together, he tells her friend. He tells the girl, his friend, sometimes it's hard to find an answer everyone likes. I can still show respect. So his brother doesn't want to play his game, but he's still being respectful. He's still being kind. I'm learning to solve my problems peacefully. Getting along can be more important than getting everything I want. If I care about someone else's ideas and feelings as much as my own, we can usually find a way to work things out. The end. So, do you remember what they said to do if you have a problem to solve? You can talk, 
to that person and then you can work it out and think of what can you do together to be kind to each other and to share the game or to share a ball or to share a toy and if it doesn't work then you can go call a grown-up right show me a smile and guess what i'm i'm going to be so proud of you today because i know that you are going to know what to do if you have a problem you know how to problem solve thank you for joining me for this awesome story and i hope that you learned something and that you will come to see me again. Have a wonderful day. Bye.